Good morning, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. Now for the news in details. Jamaica on Thursday recorded its largest one-day increase in COVID-19-related deaths, with the Ministry of Health reporting that the virus claimed nine lives. The country's death toll is now at 160. Two of the deceased were from Kingston and St. Andrew, two from St. Anne, two from St. Elizabeth, and one from Manchester. The other two deceased lived in St. Thomas and St. Catherine. The ages of the five women and four men range from 44 to 92. The Ministry of Health said another three deaths are under investigation. The Ministry also revealed that Jamaica's corona case count has passed the 8,000 mark. There were 78 new cases Thursday, moving the tally to 8,067. The ages range from 1 to 92 years. Jamaica's Ministry of Health and Wellness, Dr. Christopher Tufton, says the ministry has developed and will be rolling out a COVID-19 youth leadership response program, tapping into the tremendous capacity for advocacy of young people in Jamaica. Dr. Tufton has said the program is aimed towards making young people a more active part of the COVID-19 response strategy. He was speaking during yesterday's COVID Conversations digital press conference. Dr. Tufton said it was against this background that the ministry had developed the COVID-19 Youth Leaders Response Program. The minister said the program would be elaborated on today during a meeting at the Jamaica Conference Center, which will feature several youth leaders. Meanwhile, President of the Jamaica Chamber of Commerce, JCC, Lloyd Distant Jr., says responses to the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic for those operating in the informal economy cannot separate the health and economic impact and to this end must include a multitask strategy that combines a couple lines of action. Distance indicated that the risks associated with COVID-19 exacerbated the main vulnerabilities of poor workers in the formal economy. According to him, it is essential to reduce the risk of the contagion for workers and their family and to ensure their access to health care. In sport, Dalton Wint, General Secretary of the Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, said it will be important for Jamaica's reggae boys to make a good impression when they play the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, KSA. In a two international friendly games next month at the Prince Faisal bin Fahad Stadium in Riyadh, the JFF announced Wednesday that Jamaica will play two games against KFC over a four-day period and this will be the start of a campaign for a busy summer of 2021 when they will participate in the CONCACAF Gold Cup and the final round of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. The games are set to be played on November 14 and 17. Wind told reporters that they will be seeking to field their strongest available team as this will affect the FIFA rankings as well. A number of new players have been linked to the Reggae Boys School of Players, but Wint said he was unable to speak to the players and head coach Theodore Wootmeyer and his technical team would be looking to utilize. Since the forced lockdown of the National Premier League in March due to the outbreak of the Nova coronavirus pandemic, local players have not been able to take to the field for any competitive action, and with the games being set, for a month's time, it is unrealistic for those players to re regain match fitness and sharpness in time. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. And Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and immigration weekdays 8.30 a.m., on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence to have a good morning.